went to training sessions and I played my first match against the team who kicked me out in the first place and I scored a hat-trick. <laughs> but that, that excitement was short-lived because someone reported me to the local FA and I was banned for two months just because I, there was a disabled person playing in that league. I, he, he couldn't, he, he was panicking. So like the t two, two people, the two girls were up there screaming, shouting, and I was trying to, he was panicking, kicking. I, yeah, I, I could have lost my life as well, but I didn't look at it as that. I just wanted to, yeah, definitely. I just wanted to bring him up and just save him. Um, what do you remember after that? Do, do you remember Ben just disappearing? Yeah disappearing helicopters were going around and then I had to wait on because I couldn't climb up I was waiting there for about 45 minutes for a crew to come and save me but I was cold at the time and they wrapped me up in foil and went and then I went to the RUH the Royal United Hospital yeah life's not straightforward sometimes you have to take two steps back to take one step forward go in different directions and it, yeah, it was a long time when I, I didn't blame myself, but yeah, it was a long period of time was sort of like, this is the reason why he's not here, this is the reason why he's not here. And then obviously the drink and the drugs kept me like a coping mechanism, thinking, yeah, just a day to day. And then, but with drinking, I was going to the extreme, like trying to be paralytic, not think about it the next day and stuff. With Ian, he was, um, I, f I see him as a leader, like who, He's got his vision, he's empowers people, inspires people, but he also thinks outside the box. With a load of managers now, they, they think inside the box and think, but with him, he looked at what I could do rather than what I couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't know we made history. It was just that, oh my God, what have we done? He's in the Olympic team and I'm in the Paralympic team. And it was, yeah, just a smile on your face, especially from the things what I went before, done before. and what I went through before, but it's a moment when I walked into that um, moment when Team GB said their name and walked in f in front of 80,000 people, I lost my head. I was like, oh my God, I was running up the crowd trying to surf. I was like, yeah, it was, it was mad, mad times. But yeah, no, no one can take that moment away.